Libra. Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Libra placement. If you're new to my channel, I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Okay, so the first message that we have is missed opportunity. Wow. Okay. There's a very, very intense kind of energy that I feel with this, but there's an underlying energy also of frustration. I'm getting that your person, this masculine energy is extremely frustrated at this time right now. And they have a lot of questions about where you currently are at this stage of your journey. So even if you are at a distance from your person, even if things may be a little rocky in your connection here, something that happened in the recent past is kind of driving your person to get more information. I definitely feel like your person may be praying about this. Your person may be seeking some type of spiritual guidance because how they're viewing this overall connection is a missed opportunity. And the source of their frustration is coming from them feeling as if they don't understand why they aligned with you on this journey. They're trying to go back to the moment that they crossed paths with you. It's almost as if they're a little bit upset as well. It's like they're sitting back and they're asking themselves or they're asking, you know, their higher power, why did this happen? Why would you put this person in my life? Why would you let this person cross paths with me if things were going to end up how they are now? If things were not going to be smooth, if, you know, this wasn't going to be a linear timeline, um, why would I align in this way? Why would you allow me to fall so deeply in love with a person? Why would you allow me to get so lost in a person if things were going to end up like this? So maybe something happened in the recent past. Maybe you have been at a distance from your person. There's been some type of lag within the connection here that I'm feeling, but your person has definitely turned inward and they're actually consulting with you know their spiritual team with some type of spiritual advisor here they don't understand you know what's going on in this connection and and this is solely based on how intense it is they're really trying to make sense of this okay so i definitely feel like you may be at a very pivotal point in your connection but your person's overall goal is to be with you your person's overall goal is to see this connection all the way through. But where they stand right now, I feel like you may have some cyclical type of energy um, manifesting in your connection here. There may be external energy that keeps surfacing. There's something here that your person feels like is a barrier to the connection. This could either be on their side or on your side. But how they're viewing the overall connection right now is a missed opportunity. They're wondering if this is in fact a missed opportunity. They're wondering like what's happening. And the most important thing that I'm getting right now is it's like they're asking God, if, if this was not gonna work out, why did you allow this to happen? Wow, this is, this is very, very intense kind of energy. Um, it's almost making me feel a little bit emotional. So I don't know if this is like a very emotional time for you within your connection here. Maybe you're feeling your masculine emotions as well. It's like they're kind of channeling this energy um, into some sort of like frustration, um, but they're definitely expressing this. They could be expressing this, you know, to themselves. They could be confiding in someone close to them. They could be praying. But there's a lot of repressed energy that they feel as it pertains to the timeline of your connection, particularly where you are right now and why you keep ending up in this place, okay? So Divine Feminine, I'm definitely getting that if you are at a distance from your person, you genuinely wonder how they process the time alone, how they process the separation. And I'm not sure how they processed it in the past, but at this time right now, they're definitely going within, they're definitely questioning. I feel like 
also I, I feel a very dual energy with this i feel like you both have the same questions okay as it pertains to where you are in this connection right now and it's almost as if you know your person is going directly to their spiritual team like they're going within and they're trying to figure out what is the point of this like if, if it was going to just be all of these delays or whatever it is you know what i mean they're really trying to figure out why did i cross paths with this person in this lifetime okay wow very heavy very powerful kind of energy here coming through i definitely feel like when when your masculine gets to this point it's it's kind of intense because i feel like they definitely can hold a lot of their energy back so you may definitely be feeling a lot of their emotions you may be really um you know just sad or you may be very tired um you may feel a little bit irritable at this time um there definitely could be an, um, some shared emotional expression at this time, definitely, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, do you trust me? So usually, this card would represent your masculine asking you this question. If you trust them, if you trust what it is that they're saying, if you trust their feelings, if you trust their words. But I definitely feel like your person had an emotional purge and this was their response from God, okay? Your person is being guided to trust the timing of this connection. Even though it doesn't make sense, even though they are a little bit frustrated here, it's almost as if they they poured their hearts out and their response that they got was, do you trust me? Okay? So I, I feel like this is a very, very natural expression to have on this journey, especially with the delays that you experience. Um, there's a very cyclical nature here. And it's almost as if you you go within, you heal a part of yourself, you may come and be in contact with your person, everything is great, and then there could be some type of trigger. So I'm definitely picking up on a connection where there could really be this underlying kind of cyclical energy that you are experiencing, and it's frustrating your person, okay? So if you are wondering, how they're feeling right now, they're a little bit irritable with this too, okay? It's like they have an end goal in mind, they have um, plans for the future with you, and they feel like they keep hitting a brick wall somehow. And it's forcing them to go within. It's forcing them to look at themselves, it's forcing them to look at this connection here, Divine Feminine. Um, so they may have definitely pulled their energy back from you a little bit because I feel like they're very, very to themselves right now. It's like them and God, okay? Them really trying to figure out the purpose of their lives, what's happening here, okay? Because this is very, very powerful energy. I'm picking up on a very powerful connection where ever since you came in contact with your person, their life has completely changed, okay? This connection has maybe tripled over trickled over into every area of their lives and so for them to feel as if they're continuously experiencing delays or setbacks or something is not working it's beginning to trigger them and it's beginning to make them ask the necessary questions that are actually going to unlock some shifts in this connection here because anytime you ask a question, the solution always lies within the within the question, okay? So yeah, this masculine is, is getting very, very serious about where they are in the connection, about how they are showing up, about what's happening with you, Divine Feminine. It's like they are very, very serious about this, okay? They're taking this extremely seriously at this time. But yeah, they're being guided to trust. This could be frustrating them a little bit as well because I feel like they want a direct solution and it's like a higher power is coming through saying, do you trust me? Okay, all of this happened for a reason. So I feel like 
something is something powerful is brewing beneath the surface like you are about to literally come into um realization of why you cross paths in this lifetime like powerful powerful information is about to be unlocked for the both of you um especially for this masculine divine feminine you may have went through this process before this very spiritual process where you get alone and it's just you and the creator and you're answering these questions and you're unlocking these activations. I definitely feel like if you've already been through this, your masculine may very well be going through this at this time, okay? Let's get the next message here. The next message that we have here is, your presence awakened me. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, your person is definitely going deep right now, okay? Um, and I feel like these are some of the conclusions that they're coming to. It's almost as if they are unlocking some type of information from their higher selves about this connection. And what they're learning and what's very interesting about Twin Flames is that this journey finds you. The Most High chooses you for this. This is not something that you hear about. This is not something that you try to make fit, okay, or, or that you go searching for. This is a journey that literally finds you. You are specifically chosen for this. And because you've never experienced this otherworldly energy before, you begin to seek out information to confirm what you know is true. This is very, very sacred energy. And that's why this connection is very rare. Okay, and I definitely feel like where your person is on this journey, they are at this stage where they are seeking out this information. They may very well be searching online. They could be typing in things that they're feeling, okay? Um, but most importantly, I definitely feel like they are seeking some type of spiritual guidance about this connection because they're viewing this as they're trying to understand is this a missed opportunity like they look at it as the opportunity of a lifetime because that's truly what it is for you to experience love on this level it's, it's something unlike you know it's, it's indescribable really and so they're going within like what's happening here did I come in contact with the person that was designed for me and now it's gone and now we're experiencing delays? How do I make this, you know, a reality? How do I put this in motion? How do I get to the end game here? And so I definitely feel like your person is at, that, is at this place where they are researching and they're coming into higher information about this connection right now because that's, that's really how you find out about what this is. Okay, you're literally guided to the information and it makes itself known to you, okay? But yes, and there's information within you that only your person can unlock and they're realizing this. And also there, there's like a focus, your person is kind of focused on life before versus life after, okay? Coming in contact with you. It's almost as if it's being highlighted that they feel as if they were merely existing versus truly living. And they really want you to know that your presence awakened them. It's like they're going over these, these things that they're feeling. They're like, no, I came in contact with my divine feminine and just being in her presence, just being in the presence of my divine feminine awakened me. It made me feel things that I never felt before. It's like they're checking off a list here. This this, this is like their, I feel like this is the inner workings of their conversation or them consulting their spiritual team trying to figure out what's going on with you. Okay? And it's, it's like your person is really realizing that you were chosen. You both were chosen for this connection, okay? So if this message is resonating with you so far, you will notice that when you align with your person, there was an instant shift in your energy. So much so that it made you question everything. 
And that's, that's the one thing that's really powerful about this connection, that it makes you question if you've ever even loved a person, simply because it just does not compare on any level. So this, this is what your person is going through at this time. They're trying to make it make sense. This is like the most affirming, you know, otherworldly experience that you will ever have in this lifetime. And it literally affects every area of your life. Your person feels as if they've been changed. So they're like, hold on, you know, what's, what's happening? I just get this awesome experience and then all of these delays are happening. Like Divine Feminine, I don't think that you understand how much this emotionally affects your person as well. Maybe they don't have the words to articulate this, but don't ever think that they are unfazed by this. There's no possible way that they could be unfazed by this. They feel this just as intensely as you feel it. Sometimes maybe even more because they keep so much of their emotional process stuffed down for such a long time, okay? So yes, it's like, it's like your person knows. They're like, no, I align with this divine feminine and just being, you know, in the presence of my divine counterpart awakened me. It allowed me to view life through the lens of love. It allowed me to see myself in my person. Okay, to see parts of myself in my person. Um, if this is resonating with you so far, your divine masculine may very well be coming into the knowledge that they are in fact a twin flame counterpart. Okay, definitely. For some of them, they, they felt this, okay? Maybe they've done research, maybe they um, looked around, maybe they found information on soulmate or something like that. But for some reason, I'm feeling like they, they found out that they are a twin flame counterpart, okay? Definitely. And it's like this frustration that they're feeling, their emotions. That's the thing about your soul. Your soul always knows where to go. So even, even, those, even those energies, even those lower energies of fear, frustration, doubt, those things will drive you exactly where it is that you're supposed to go. Your soul always knows where to go to put you right back in alignment. And that's why a higher power is coming through saying, do you trust me? Okay, even the delays. <laughs> Every single stage of this connection has a purpose, okay? And I definitely feel like your person is beginning to understand that, or at least they're coming into the information about it, okay? Divine Feminine, I feel like this is something that you have already been through. And, and if you haven't, then this is just a peek into how that looks, okay? What it looks like emotionally and mentally. Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is, I appreciate you. Yeah. Um, this masculine is honestly, <laughs> the energy is, it's coming through a little bit frustrated, but this is also a light hearted energy because it's really being led by love. And I feel like this masculine at this time is feeling just a different range of emotions, okay? They're feeling frustrated. Okay, they're going out, they're seeking some type of guidance from a higher power. But overall, it's like your person just has this deep appreciation for you, Divine Feminine. And what you mean to their lives, what you mean to their journey, okay? Um, and I'm getting specifically communication. So there's something about how you communicate with this masculine that got their attention and that that has kept their attention for this long time. It's the way you handle this masculine's emotion is what makes them want to open up their heart to you, okay? And they never expected this. This is a masculine energy that is, I'm getting very cerebral. This is a person who falls in love from their head first and then their heart. It has to make sense to them. And this is the only connection that just did not make any sense. So where you are right now in the connection, it genuinely frustrates them. 
because they see themselves having a life with you. They see you as their end goal. But they also know that there are different stages or they're coming into the information that there are different stages because this connection, you know, you were really chosen to do something greater. This connection finds you, anyone that identifies as being a twin flame, okay, um, you're chosen for this. And half the time when you go through this journey, you feel like you're crazy. You feel like you are alone. You feel like nobody understands what it is that you're going through and the emotions that you're navigating through, but it's very, very real, okay? And your person wants you to know that they appreciate you because your presence awakened them. Your presence is what took them on this journey to get into alignment with their higher self to seeing the world. They're learning that they were chosen for this because they too have the capacity, okay? So if you are wondering how your person is currently feeling about you, your person is absolutely in love with you. Your person is yearning for you. Your person is, is really in this energy. And I've been picking up on this energy a lot lately where the divine masculine really just wants deeper intimacy with the feminine energy. They really seek to connect emotionally. And there's a real deep appreciation that they have for you as it pertains to their emotional process. And this is because you can feel them, okay? You are them, literally. So even if you are at a distance from your person, realize that you are never really separate, okay? But your person is coming through letting you know that they appreciate you, okay? They have been praying about you. They have been going to a higher power. The main thing that's sticking out here, if this is resonating with you so far, is your person is determined to find out why did you cross paths in this lifetime? That is the magic question. You may have thought about this as well. And it's mainly frustrating them because this has not been a linear experience. This experience has been all over the place. This experience has pushed and pulled them in ways that no one ever has before. And although they're frustrated, a higher power is coming through saying, trust me. Trust the timing of this. Trust that you were chosen for this. Trust that there's a higher purpose, okay, on your life. Wow, this, this is very, this is a very spiritual message, okay? For some reason, the messages have been very, very spiritual lately. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of energy clearing that's happening. And beyond that, there's a lot of questions that's being asked. And when you begin to ask questions, that unlocks powerful, powerful energy and powerful activations because you open up an entire new level of awareness. When you stuff emotions down, when you ignore things, when you act as if things don't exist, then you don't get information. But to be naturally inquisitive, to be curious, that's powerful because it opens you up to new information, okay? And that, that's where your person is right now. They are determined to figure out why you cross paths. And this is mainly because of where you are in your journey or there's some type of cyclical energy that keeps coming up that's causing some type of barrier or some type of delay. And whether you know it or not, Divine Feminine, this affects them as well. It really does. Let's get the next message here. more confirmation the next message we have is there is a much deeper meaning yes it is and they're they're coming they're coming into this realization it's deeper also what i'm getting here because i just got it's deeper than that okay i feel like your person is realizing that this connection is about experiencing love on a higher octave, okay, a higher octave of love. 
but this is also tied to their destiny okay this is also them coming into the realization if they are you know searching these things up which i highly feel that they are i'm getting that energy with this heavy inquisitive energy your person is realizing that you are the physical you are a physical manifestation of them in another body here on the planet with them at the same time that's powerful and so you have a physical being as your mirror as your person as your life partner and you were chosen for this like directly from the most high do you know how powerful that is so I feel like your person is looking at this, but they're really, I feel like they're asking some deep, deep questions, okay? Deep questions that may seem crazy to other people. I, I don't feel like they are opening this up. I definitely feel like this is direct communication from them and a higher power. But they're realizing that there's a much deeper meaning or they're coming into this information to realize that they cross paths with you because you have something powerful to do in this lifetime, on this planet. And just you being in union with your person, you crossing paths with your person has activated you and has opened up another side of you where you can never come, you can never come back from that. You've been forever changed. And that right there is the key I feel like that's the source of your person's kind of frustration, um, their excitement, their anticipation, is the fact that they've crossed paths with many people. They've had many different relationships, okay? Some of them, they've encountered different feminine energy, but what makes you different? That you actually changed their lives. That they can look at every single area of their lives. They can look at themselves and realize that they are not the same person they were before that moment. I feel like that's the thing right there. That's the deeper meaning here. This is not just an ordinary 3D relationship. This is something otherworldly. Love in and of itself is an otherworldly emotion. So many people don't truly understand what that is. And the fact that you were chosen for this means that you, you have the capacity. Okay, this is very, very spiritual. So I don't know if there's like, this is just the overall energy. If you're resonating with this, this is the overall energy of your connection. You may be very, very spiritually inclined. I feel like whoever this masculine is attached to, you are powerful feminine energy. You know who you are, okay? You are very in touch with source. You are very in touch with the creator because your energy, like when I say this energy is intense, it's very, very intense. Like you have something powerful to do in this lifetime. And I feel like the overall message here is a higher power is coming in saying, trust me, I chose you to do something. You know, you and your counterpart are in this together. There's a physical being on this planet with you that acts as your mirror. That you can heal by healing yourself. That you can feel their emotional process that you share a chakra system with. That's powerful. Powerful, powerful energy coming through here. So your person is unlocking some key information about this journey. Or you may be as well divine feminine. But the overall energy here is you both are about to awaken to why you cross paths in this lifetime. And yes, it's for you to experience love in just a higher capacity. But there's also something powerful that you have to do. Okay? Wow. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The last message we have is, you're a reflection of me. Powerful. I feel like that message, honestly, is coming from a higher power. 
letting you both know that you are a reflection of the highest vibration on the planet and that is love. So anytime that you doubt, anytime that you experience delays in this connection, because I seriously feel like you both may pick up on this energy or you both may have moments where you feel like, is this a missed opportunity? You genuinely question this. And that's a valid question. Because this love that you have with this person, what you are chosen for, is completely otherworldly. This is a higher octave of love here. And the creator is letting you know, you are a reflection of me. I chose you because you are a reflection of me. Because you have the capacity to love in this manner. And you have something so powerful and so great to give the world. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. So if you were wondering how your person is currently feeling, maybe they pulled their energy back a little bit. Maybe they've been a little bit short with their responses here. Um, your person has went within and your person is seeking spiritual counsel on your connection, on how to navigate your connection because they want this to work. They want it to make sense. They're researching, they're typing in this messages. They may very well have just come into the information that they are a divine counterpart and a connection that they just felt like, you know, they were really, really um, intensely and energetically bonded to. They just come into the realization that this is a connection directly from the most high. This is absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? Um, whoever this masculine is attached to, okay, whosoever counterpart this is, you are powerful, powerful feminine energy. And I definitely feel like if you are on this journey where you're really tapped into your spirituality, you are really just energetically shifting right now, your person is, is you know, right there with you. Right there with you. So, wow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the reading right here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.